better make this one a short one because a lot of people, well, not a lot, some people got upset about the last one. The gold one was so loud, so long. That's okay. At least one good thing about a long one, you can uh, cut it off. Yeah, I don't care. you like. I don't care what they say. I hope I tied up an hour and a half of your life. <laughs> well, you did. I did, yeah, really, eh? Yeah. It was good, though, they could hear you. Yeah, it was perfect. Yeah. It worked out really good. Look at Here I am trying to stop from hearing you, and they wants to hear you. <laughs> yeah, it makes no sense. No, do it. No, everything's all our stuff, right? Anyway, it's our second day back. We've done a couple of little small jobs. We want to keep it small because I got ideas. <laughs> ideas in my head. Do you? I got piles of ideas in my head. Anyway, we got some more redstone. So the trucks are, uh, the trucks hauled them other two loads the other morning. That's right. So then last night, our buddy showed up with our redstone. Come on down. Come on. Where are we going? Come on, take the walk. And anyway, so we got about 16, about 19 or 20 ton of redstone. So we're going to spread this out, make it look pretty again. The tire recyclers should come and get those soon. And uh, we hauled in a a dump trailer full of topsoil. We did. And that's yeah. just there for picking. Picking. Yeah. You know, you need a bit of topsoil for the lawn or want to plant a few flowers or something. We just go down and we pick from that. So that's our stockpile. This is the stuff that they dropped off last night. So but anyway, in my quest for trying to work, well, I guess smarter, for lack of a better term. You got an making, idea. We're making some changes in the shop. And uh, a little bit of pain now, but a lot of gain later. And uh, we have a sea dew coming in, well, any day at all now. Uh, a single CD, not a double one like that down there. And we have to do take the engine out. So, in the past, what we would do, we would take Forky. Oh, there's Forky. People want to see Forky again. Yeah. Forky yesterday, we took Forky out of the out of Forky's place. Somebody said that would make a great the name for a diner. Oh, really? Forky's yeah, place. Yeah, true. Yeah. Uh huh. So anyway, uh, got him out. And uh, serviced them and uh, washed them down. So he's, he's pretty smurfy, he's feeling pretty good, even give us some fresh fuel. Anyway, but in the past, what we would do, we would use, we had to take the engine out of something, we would use Forky and we'd lift the engine out and whatnot. Uh, not big engines, not automotive engines, but small engines and whatever. So then I got the stinking. What am I thinking about? <laughs> well, I you said, asked. <laughs> well, I said there's. I should get a gantry. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with a gantry. Is a gantry is something the shape of a ramp, oh, okay, with a hoist in the middle, and it's oh, on yes, wheels. Yes. Yeah, it's on those. And you can put it different places, and that would be ideal for me. But this garage is kind of like. Everything's in a pill bottle. Now I like it that way because we hardly use any heat to heat this place. I think one tank of fuel for all year. Oh yeah. And I'm telling you folks, like we have it hot here. You know, and that's without the heat on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, so then I got to thinking. I said, you know what? How many times have we had vehicles or had trucks come in here with a salamander in it or a big pump part or something to be a machine? Oh, yeah. And you know, we literally struggle to take it out of the back yeah. of the truck. So I said, well, the gantry would be perfect for that. Then I said, well, there's no room for the gantry. No. I said, if I take it and I put it over here, then the problem is going to be. Uh, it's going to be in the way of the iron worker. So you're always going to be playing musical cheers with this friggin' gantry. Yeah. So I said, I need something permanent. I need something better than that. So I came up with this idea here a few years ago for uh, 
you know, for lifting stuff, like there's there's a rotary table back here that's that big. Yeah. And, and I use that for lifting up here. And I designed this system and I use this to put it up. That being said, folks, this here is new. It was there was one there before, but this is a newer one. I so-called discovered I had two gift cards from Princess Isle. <laughs> yeah, they, they were over a year old. Yeah. I don't know, but they were giving me last Father's Day. Yes. And. Uh, oh yeah, I'd say in Christmas. So I'm sitting down and I'm looking at the flyer, Princess Isle flyer, and they had this on sale for a hundred and nine dollars. Mm-hmm. So I said. He's good for uh, 220 pounds, or you can put the pulley on him, he's good for 440. So I said, you know what? I think the one we have up here is bigger, it's really overkill. So what I went and did yesterday, picked up this, then I made up the adapter to go on the trolley that's up there, and I made up an adapter plate to bolt that to the trolley. You can see it's red. Yeah. That's, that's, uh, and I mean, yesterday was one of those days you couldn't lose because I said, I don't know if I got any 316 steel. And honest to God, folks, I walked over to the book. Yeah, I that's right. it up, yeah. and I never had, I never had to cut a thing off it. No, you didn't. So I made up the bolt pattern and the template, and then I went and, uh, hang on, I know I'm all over the place here. And then I just basically, this is where it bolts on to that hoist. And I just put a couple of ears on it. Yeah, made up template. And then, then I uh, got up on Forky. Come around here because I keep losing you in the front. <laughs> yeah, well, because of the light coming in, eh? And so anyway, so that's what happened. So I just pulled it up there, right? Oh yeah. And it worked. It worked absolutely perfect. So then I took the one down that was up there that got very little use, which is this one here. This is a big bugger. This is good for 660 pounds, or double that with the pulley. Uh, and you can see how it's done, what? Huh? Yes, that's the plate you made. That's the plate well. just yeah. like up there, right? Yeah. So, then, I said yes, so we'll take some measurements, and we'll put, a, we'll put another beam, I-beam, up there. And how I do it, is I take the I-beam, say this is the, the top part of the I-beam, and I weld half inch nuts, pretty well 16, 16 inches apart, and then I use treaded rod, I screw them down like a stud, then I get up there and I drill holes in the roof, I put them up, then I get up and I put two by fours across the, the trusses and each beach bolt. And it's never coming down because they're factory trusses. They're, they're made to carry a lot of weight. Lot of weight plus yeah. it's a plywood ceiling as well. So, But I mean, again, this is not meant to lift the back of the forklift up. No. This is gonna be meant to lift something 500 pounds or less. So it's a bit overkill. Then I said, well, if I do that, then we have another problem because that big old hoist is gonna be in the way for a vehicle. Then I said, well, hang on, come over here, Kathy. I'll close the door so, you, so I won't fully out. Yeah, I like to see from here. It's only when you walk close to the door. Uh, so then I ran into another issue. I said, well, if I have that coming down low, it's going to be the way of the vehicle. So I said, what I'll do is I'll have extra I beam to come out over here up to this wall. So when that winch or that place is not in use, I can pull it over here and park it right here in this area. And that way the I-beam was out of the way, and so was the hoist. Wow, my head hurts. <laughs> clear as mud? Yes, it's clear as mud. Clear I, as... I don't know if anyone else was following it. Well, look, it's very simple. It is simple. If I put that big old hoist right there, and I park it right here, yep. it's going to be, it possibly could be lower. Now, it might not be but it possibly could be lower than that beam, because I never really got up there and measured, measured, measured. But, but I said, I need, a, I need another way. 
just in case it is lower. So for the sake of an extra 16 inches of I-beam, the I-beam will come along here and stretch right over here where that 1965 calendar, we need a new calendar, <laughs> uh, where that calendar's to. And that way, if there's any worries about that hitting the vehicle, we can just pull that winch or that hoist like I do there, mm -hmm. pull it over here out of the way. Oh yeah, perfect. And perfect. Yeah. Now, it's going to be very beneficial to have that there. For one thing, remember last winter when we did a couple of skidoos, I had to pull them up? Yeah. So I could that's get right. out of the yes, that's right. Lift the rear end. Well, we were using the ramp to pull them yeah. up, and they were sliding off the ramp. This is much more control. A fella comes here and he got something that needs to be machined or welded, and it's heavy. We back the truck it here. We let the winch down. We pull it out. The other thing is, too, having it on an I-beam, people say, well, you can have it fixed permanently. But having it on an I-beam, say we have our CDU here, we're pulling the engine out. Once we get the engine pulled out, well, we can pull the CDU ahead. But say if we can't, the door's closed, it's a miserable day, I can just take it on the trolley, pull it over, and lay it there on one of those old welding tables. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, you know, yeah. so that's what it is. So that's what the plan is. So right now, we're waiting for uh, the truck to show up with the I-beam. Yeah. Now, I was originally going to make up some brackets and swing it from the ramp. I'm not sold on either design yet. No. Okay. I kind of got to tweak it, look at it, and see what I'm dealing with. And then maybe we can uh, get at it then, you know? We have customers waiting to come in. <laughs> we called a couple yesterday just to let them know we're back. And we said, you know, we understand that you have your work done because, you know, we're laid up for well, seven weeks, yeah. right? And they said, no, no, we were waiting. We were waiting. Not only that, we took our other vehicle out and we weren't even comfortable driving that because if something happened, we had no one to call. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Isn't it really nice? Yeah, that was nice. So, yeah, great people, you know, just to wait for you, right? Exactly. So, so we'll be starting some automotive work again tomorrow. Oh, what else is new? Oh. We have an abundance of boots. Boots? Yep. They are for, we kind of brought them in for ourselves. Uh, I was really, I was really impressed with those things. They're uh, polyurethane. They're uh, a lot thicker than the OEM. And they're a lot more flexible. And they are, apparently, UV has no effect on them. So I brought in a lot of them and going to be uh, using them for our own use, but uh, we have sold a couple of sets already, and uh, we're selling them for nine bucks each. Yep. Nine bucks US each, and then whatever the shipping. Shipping is usually not very much. Put them in a small packet, right? That's right. Actually, four went off to uh, Australia, Australia yesterday. yesterday. Mm -hmm. So if anybody wants them, just let us know, and uh, usually work through PayPal, eh? Yes. Yeah. And so that's that, and uh, we we have we can get we have more coming actually, but they're very nice. And of course, there's killer. You can see them on killer. We we did do a video on it. Yes, we did. So watch that rig get stuck on that rig. So there they are. You use the existing clips that uh, come with them. Um, in the past, there's been people using uh, uh, electrical ties. Uh -huh. You know, like those plastic ones. Oh, yes. And, and I, you know, like, I, I don't want to put down a product, and I'm not trying to do it, but Kubota knew what was best when it came to them clips. That's right. Like, if they're a pain in the ass to put on, that means they're good. Yes. They're a pain in the ass to come off. Yes. It's like when you got medicine. If the medicine tastes terrible, it's because it works. Yeah, true. Right? Okay. So, that's how I feel about it anyway. So, yeah, so that's it. What else is new? Uh, our hostas are coming up good. Oh, they really are. Hey? Eh? Yeah. Our grass is not, but our hostas is. Well, Let's come over and show them the hostas, because a lot of people have been following your pond. Well, it's, it was slow coming because it's cold. Oh, we're two months behind. It's cold today. It's sure, cold I, today. I came out and had to put on my winter coat. Then it's after warming up a little bit. Yes. Our hostas there, there. Yeah. Even this is starting to. Yeah. And uh, there you go. Yeah, so when they did get going, they're, they're fast. It's amazing. Yeah. They're gluttons. They just think they, 
every time somebody walks by, they're going to get fed. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing the water don't go up to the door because they'd be knocking on the back door of the house yeah. to look well, for breakfast. When they close the door, they hear the water oh, yeah. sound. Yeah. So that's pretty good. We're going to put some little topsoil around here, too. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we got it now. And it's been uh, raining pretty well every night. Yes. And windy. Holy smokes, has it ever been windy. And yes, killer is really dirty. A little killer is really dirty, and so is big killer. But I'm not going to clean them up and detail them until we get our work done around the door, naturally. That's right. So, somebody said to me, they said, uh, you need a backhoe on big killer. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I don't want to be, I don't want a backhoe on big killer. Because, folks, I tell you, I, I'm so used to operating a real true backhoe where you turn the seat around. So you use the back on? Oh, yes, yes. And I see no point in getting out of an air-conditioned cab, crawling out and getting on a little seat back here and using the back on. Then yeah. when you have to move the back on, you got to get down out of that to get back in the cab and move the back on. It's always been a great... Oh, I've... I can't... I can't fathom that. So anyway, that's the reason why I'm not putting the back on on Killer. So. That's it. We'll be back, I guess, later on. We'll see what the see oh. if our metal is going to show up. And then what else do we do? Oh yeah, we we restocked yesterday. We had new oil come in for the mm -hmm. shop, and yeah. you know, and got a few little parts that we were lacking here, and we got them back in stock. And so you know, it's just it's it's like a ship. It takes a while to yeah, that's right to get it uh, to get it all it? fired up. Dock, and, is it or out of yeah, and get it get it synced and yep. You know, because the shop has been mothballed, mothballed for six or seven weeks. Yeah, so sure. we're trying to get back into it. Yesterday, how am I feeling? Uh, people will wonder. Yesterday, I was really tired yesterday evening. Yeah, you were. But I didn't stop either. You stayed out all day, so. Yeah, I stayed out all day. Like I stopped and tired. had my breaks. You did, yeah. And, uh, but four I was. Four o'clock, you, you were tired. I was pretty tired, yeah. So, but hey. Still here. That's right. Hey. Exactly. What else? We had uh, a lot of people commenting on Facebook. A lot, a lot of people coming on Facebook mm -hmm. for friends and stuff. So we're talking back and forth. It's really hard to deal with all the comments. Yeah. It's it's overwhelming to be honest with you. Like I start some mornings at three or four o'clock in the morning. I can't continue on that because no. that's affecting my rest. Oh, that's right. So, I mean, when you get like... Can't get into habit of that, you need rest. No, you get two or three hundred comments per video, and then you're on Facebook, and they're trying to get a PC. So, yeah, I, read them, I read them all. You read them all, but you can't... You know, but you can't geez, comment on them all. Possibly. You know, so... Well, I there are hundreds of, hundreds of people and thousands. Oh, and yes. One. Yeah. I apologize for not being able to answer them all, but I am reading them all. I promise you that. There's, there's not one that gets by my snout here that I don't see. Oh. Hey, so we'll be back now in a little while and we'll show you something else. Hey, there's your steel. That's the steel. The steel, that's the steel, my son. Yeah, that's good. He never brought out the big one, so. No, that's I right. To drag that up, right? It's not windy today, anyway. Uh, it's supposed to rain this afternoon, but I know what I'm going to do is going to switch rolls. I'm going to get that stuff spread, but the rain will keep the dust down, right? Oh, okay. That's good. You made a noise. Wicked, eh? Boy, ain't people great. Oh, fabulous. Buddy gets out of the truck and he grabs my beam and said, hang on, give me a hand. And he wouldn't let me touch it. Nope. Good. And he said, I heard you had a rough time. I said, yeah, pretty well, yeah. He wouldn't let me touch it. Nope, he knew. Hey, that's two companies. Yes. Yesterday we had Napa deliver come here, oil. deliver a full drum of oil and brought two guys because they didn't want me to touch it. That's right. Well, you know, it says yeah. a lot about a company, don't it? It does. Normally there's only one guy needed, but they yeah. sent down two sent and you didn't two. have to touch it. We never even asked. We didn't ask. No, no. they just knew, right? Yep. And the same with him, look. Huh? Yeah, that's right. So they knew. They're, yeah. they're, I was very impressed, too. I said, they're really thinking. Yeah, it was really thoughtful of them. But that stuff goes a long way, you say. Eh? It sure does. So it's thank all... you, Napa, and thank you, Penny's, Penny's yes. driver. Yeah, Penny's, Penny's transport from Carbon here, mm -hmm. and uh, Belvin's Napa here in Bay Roberts. That's right. You, you, can't, you can't beat that service, right? No. Uh, yeah, Napa. Napa. 
Never. Now, so, Kathy, <laughs> what you got to do now, I'll take the camera. The welder is over there. You're going to need to get the half inch nuts and some treaded rod. And then you're going to have to, I'll operate the forklift for you. And then I'm going to lift you up there. Then we're going to, once we get all the holes or all, all the things drilled in that, then we've got to pull it up there. We've got to mark the area. And then you got drilled them out. Then we'll put the beam right up through. Then you got to get up in the attic and go across and put the beams, put the two by fours across. Yeah, I think we're going to come back and give an update on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're all there to help until you got the help. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I'm only a little, a little one. I only, I got my limitations. Yeah, I should have married a big old Russian woman. She could take that away, and she'd have to be tall too, wouldn't she? She'd just oh, hold no. that up in place while you got up in the attic and. There's like, ladders and four, four feet and everything. Yeah, we'll, we'll get all that done. It's, we're going to work smart with this. We're going to uh, we're going to put this up in place with the forklift. Well, we did it with that one, so yeah. But then again, that was half the size. <laughs> ah, we'll do it. We'll do that. Oh yes, here we're spreading out some more of this stuff. So we got some more red rock spread down here. Yeah, it's getting a bit thin here, so it's filled in now. Yeah. So you can see, oh, see the difference in the yeah, color. Yeah, can't you? Look at look, that. Look. Yeah. Are you looking? Yeah. Look. So maybe what we can do, shut, uh, shut down the doors, and we can go down to the back and just fill them that. Hey, did you want to try it? Try what? Forky, or the killer, little killer. Really? Mm, interesting. <laughs> I can tell you're not enthused. <laughs> no boy, what was your first clue? <laughs> you're not a tractor gal. No, there's there's tractor gals out there. Yeah, but you're not and, one of them. And I'm not one of them. How many times have I tried? Many. Oh, I got some bad it's news yesterday. Fault. Yeah, what happened yesterday? Well, John Ritter, of course, everybody watches John Ritter. Uh, John noticed something, and he said, Paul Sargent which is a guy in, in New York, he, uh, he had a BX and he used to do, you know, some BX videos and videos around stuff around the door and whatnot. And uh, so John posted and he said, anybody hear from Paul Sargent lately? And I said, boy, you know, come to think of it, I haven't, you know. Like Paul never put out a lot of videos, but mm -hmm. he put out some videos, right? So anyway, went over on the, the, BX, uh, the BX page there for Facebook and then, uh, Post it and somebody picked up his obituary. He died last year. Wow. I believe it was August, right? So it's, it's just so sad, right? It is. You know, there's it's not much to it anymore, no, you know? It's not. So if anybody, if anybody's that's watching that uh, knew Paul personally or yeah, watched our, him, our, our condolences deepest, go out yeah, to him. Our deepest sympathy. Yeah, you know, it's a. Uh, it's bad stuff, especially when you didn't know, right? No, that's right. You don't know. And if yeah. you're not there, regular you know every day in contact with people well that's it you know you like, don't know these things you know i subbed i subscribe to them and i, and I hit the little bell when you subscribe so mm -hmm. you get a new video you get the notification, notification of a new video okay. and of course you know you subscribe to 50 channels but you you know you you don't miss any particular one because you just figure out or taking a break from or maybe they got fed up with it like everybody well, gets fed up I mean, with life it. gets complicated too, yes right? exactly you know and he might have run into you know well, a, a you minor were... health issue but True. you don't you don't expect anybody to be gone no so uh you know it's just so sad right so but the, his uh his channel is still up so i guess it's the same situation when when a lot of us people uh, expire we never leave our passwords with our spouses yeah so nobody that, knows right? how to shut it down no. right so I don't know it's it's a sad sad situation so I and think organizations aren't helpful I mean they're not I mean Apple YouTube probably Google I don't know they're, they're well, not helpful with passing out passwords because really you can't well, you, blame them you, 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 they're cautious you have to be I mean somebody could call up if it was that easy somebody could call up and say like on Paul Paul Short's brother yes and I'm looking after his estate and I want his site shut down 
Yeah, so you can't do that. I mean, that's you know, it's got to be. It's it's, it's got to be. It's got to be up done, to the individual right? to think of it. So yeah. I mean, like Kathy knows all my passwords. Zero 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 zero. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, really, folks. You know, anybody who's a creator, or anybody who's got passwords for anything, we all have passwords. Like write them down and put them in a safe place and let your spouse or your friends or somebody know where it's to. Where to get them. Because like it creates a lot of trouble for the family. It, I mean, it really do, you know. Uh, I don't know. It's uh, it's kind of sad, really. But, you know, it's nice to be able to look back and, and see it. I actually had to stop watching Carrie's. Yeah. Because I was getting depressed watching Carrie's. Yes. So, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's hard. You know, because you, you start to watch it. And you forget that he's no longer here. Yeah, it's right? easy to try to interact, isn't it? Yeah, like I almost caught myself saying something there a couple of weeks ago, you know? Well, that's the other part, too, because new viewers, if they didn't know he had passed... Well, they'd be making a statement. Making statement, and comments, or asking for help or exactly. advice. Yeah. And it's a they sad don't part. know, yeah. Anyway, let's get on with happier thoughts, but I just wanted to spread that bit of news out there. It's another BX or another creator on YouTube that's gone. So I don't know what happened. I have no idea, but that's as much as you know. And I wouldn't have known this only for John Ritter. And if you get a chance, head over to John's channel and check him out because uh, he's got a real nice family channel and it's, you have no worries. You, know, you can sit down with your kids. You can sit down with the Pope and watch it and not be offended. So, yeah. hey, yeah, perfect. Yeah, it is what it is. So mm -hmm. and there's not a lot of them out there, you know, so. Let's get to work. Yeah.
Guess what time it is? Break time? <laughs> it's Kathy operate the X time. I don't have the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Our times aren't synced. In all seriousness, how many times have you been on this? I don't know if I have. No, Once. I don't think so either. Eh? No. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's okay. Today is going to be the first day. You're going to try it. You got to really? try it. Everybody at home, hey, don't everybody at home want to see it? Hear them? Hear them? Yeah, I'm well, hearing all the screaming and shouting. I'm, I'm trying to uh, uh, not not notice. <laughs> okay, so here's come over. We're gonna sh we're gonna show you something here now. I'm gonna show you some features. Maybe on this side it's probably a little better. Because that way, if there's a lot of people that don't have one of these that might be interested in. You know, so should I go up and get my gloves? Now you can wear these Napa ones because I'll use the camera. I think. Okay, cool. Do I need sunglasses? No, it's not too sunny yet. Well, it's, it'll probably be a good idea to put some uh, eye protection on. Okay. We, we'll, we'll do that now so shortly. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get the one-on-one here first. Yeah. So basically, what you're going to do is you just need to learn a few things. Okay. This pedal here, the further you go ahead with that, the faster you go. When you take your foot off, it stops. Okay. Same thing when you want to back up. You push back, the far further down you go, the faster it backs up. So if you only want to go back up just a little eensy weensy tiny bit, you just push down on that pedal a little bit, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, if all hell breaks out, say for instance now, when you starts to go ahead and it don't stop and you takes down the shed and you takes down the museum and then you takes down the missus's shed and you starts going through her house, you could push on that. And it will stop. <laughs> okay, so that's case all hell's break. Yeah, loose. just in case, like, you have this catastrophic failure and you're on re entry and you want to stop, you push that. That is the main break, okay? This here is the FEL control. FEL stands for? Front end loader. Right on. And when you pull back, it goes up. When you push down, it goes down. When you push all the way down, see it stayed up? Mm -hmm. You hear a little click? That's called float mode. Do you know what float mode is? Not particularly. Well, float mode is the hydraulics not working now. It's in floating mode. It's going to rise towards the ground level. So if you're going over a ground, uh, say for instance your snow clearing is bumpy and it's like that, the bucket will follow it. So I'm actually... But you're not, you don't need to use float mode. I, I'm just telling you like everything that that this thing can do, right? Well, that's right. The, the common oh, thing you're going cool. to have to do now, step one, say your prayers. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking I was going for a ride. I didn't think I was you going to have to oh, use Oh, no, it. you're going to be, you're spreading this. Seriously? Oh, yeah. We just want to see how it's going to work. So basically I'm going to show you. I mean, start. is this the way that you're really thinking about going out? I mean, after all you've been through, you're going to have me run you over? Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Squat me like a dead skunk in the middle of the yeah, road. Yeah, I mean, seriously. Yeah. So anyway, we're going to start it up. Well, I got to go get my... No, yeah, but we're not ready yet. We're, you're, you're, you're putting the cart before the horse. Huh? I got to show you like what you need to do. So you see how fast I was going back there then? Yep. It's better to go fast when you're spreading this, but look, all I want to see you do is just take up this and just spread a little bit there. You don't have to worry about it being fancy. It's going to be lumpy. It's, 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 you know, well, of course, now you could surprise me and do a better job with it than I do. <laughs> well, folks, I got to tell you this story. I got to tell you this story. Uh, what, what's the, what story is this? When I was in hospital, the phone rang. And this is CB. <laughs> I know. I gotta tell. I know what you're gonna tell. This is CBC Television, okay? <laughs> this is a national television network, okay? Yeah, they called me on my That calls son. Kathy on her cell phone and said, we'd like to do an interview. And Kathy said, well, okay, where would you like to do the interview? And he said, well, he said, myself, he said, and the videographer will be out around 
10 30 11 o'clock that's right the following morning following morning so he said we'll we'll like to do it just outside the hospital kathy says well and so kathy gets up from the chair with her cell phone and she's looking out the window now she said i'll tell you the perfect place that you should set up you know and he, she said you can set up there because the light will at that time in the morning and all this and i'm thinking is she telling a national videographer how to do the job so it, and then Kathy, you must have thought about it. I came it. back, sat down. You came back and you sat down and I said... Still talking about it. Yeah. Did you just realize what you just done? You said, what did I do? So you told a news crew how to set up their cameras. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it, it hit me. I came back yeah. and I sat down and I said, well, not that I need to tell you how to do your yeah, job. that's right. <laughs> and I apologize. I just forgot. You forgot, yeah. <laughs> It was so funny. And I mean, yeah, like, he here laughed. I am, and I'm all hooked up with this stuff, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, just look what she did. And of course, everybody laughed. Oh, Zach thought it was pretty funny Zach too, Gowdy pretty did, cool. Yeah, He's yeah. fabulous. Oh, Zach Gowdy is, uh, is a journalist with CBC, mm -hmm. and I'm going to tell you, like, he's not cool. He's super, super cool. Super cool. Love his energy. Oh, uh, like, he's just, he's like a, a stick of dynamite. Yeah like ready to go, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Like he's, what the old fellas used to say, he's all piss and vinegar. Yeah, right? yeah, that's it. You know, like, get going, let's get her done, you know, and nothing is impossible. Nope. His, his enthusiasm will make you smile, right? Oh, so anyway, this is, this is the guy that <laughs> you were to. talking to, and I mean, and Zach watches our YouTube channel too, so. So he we, knew, he knew what had happened. Yes, that's right, nice. it was so funny. Was so right? funny. Anyway, I just, I just, I'm sorry about going <laughs> off key here, but I just had to show you. I had to tell you. So anyway, back to this. So we're going to start her up. We're going to bring, I'm going to bring the RPM up of this one around 2,500 RPM. You don't have to worry about any of that. And then uh, I'm going to show you, you can see it from there what I'm going to do, okay? It's going to be slow mode. It's going to be in uh, turtle. Slow mo gizmo? Yeah, it's going to be in turtle. It's okay. not going to be in rabbit. I, I was going around rabbit. So <laughs> it's going to be in turtle mode. This is written right on it. Mm -hmm. It's going to be in four wheel drive. bucket tilting it and this here? raising it yeah, yeah I know this, it raises it up and yeah, down this way yeah curls it back oh. this way dumps it okay that's what I want now when you go to dump it make sure your bucket is high enough off the ground because if it's not you're going to dig in and then you're probably going to dent up the hood when your face strikes the, <laughs> strikes the hood you don't want your face striking the hood because these are metal hoods <laughs> yeah so Okay. Yeah, that could do serious damage to well, my snout. It, it could, yeah. You could hurt your snout. Especially when it gets caught up on that chrome emblem there in the end. Yeah. Okay? Not See, good. what you got to do here, there's really only two things you need to concentrate on. You need to concentrate on your right arm, okay, and your hind leg. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So you can pause that now. You can go up and get your goggles and your suit of armor and everything that you need to get. And then you can come down, you can go right to it. <laughs> and I'll tape you. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. They've been waiting for years for this. Have they? I believe that. Yes, they did. See, they hear, I heard them say yes. They're all cheering. They're all. You can hear them cheering. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I, you could be right. Oh, I know I'm right. Hmm. Where I have ever been wrong? Don't answer that. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. Ah. So you got cuffs and everything. Your cuffs. No. Tell you something else we gotta do. You see these things here? Mm. You know what they are? Air plugs. No, they're nose plugs so you don't breathe in the dust. <laughs> Give me them. <laughs> you roll you're them. trying to suffocate me. You roll them up. 
I don't like earplugs. Well, you know, you don't have to you don't have to wear them if you don't want to, but it's just trying to be safe. I'm just trying to do as I say, <sighs> not as I do. Oh, they feel terrible. Yeah. <laughs> kind of different, aren't they? Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, but it, it'll help. Okay, I can give you muffs on. if you rather muffs. Would you rather muffs? No, they're worse again. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> you're here. No, no, they just, you know, muffs are heavy and kind of weirdy. Yeah? Yeah. Well, then, see, if I was a tractor gal, I wouldn't have a problem with all these things, right? No. Well, if you were a Harley rider, too, if I had a Harley, you'd have to have them. Well, that's why we don't have a Harley. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Right. Get on the little feller. I'm doing it. <laughs> so. Okay. Oh God, I'm gonna die. What's the first thing you got to do? I got starter. No. Before you do any of that. What else is there ahead? Move my seat? No, my seat don't move. Well, it can move, yeah. yeah no, you find? I got no. I got plenty of room. Yeah. No. Seatbelt. Really? Oh yeah, you got to put a seatbelt on. Oh. I didn't see that in the instructions. Well, yeah. Should always. Now look, I'm no angel. I hardly use it. Well, that's why I didn't recognize. Yeah, I know, that. but I'm just showing you the right way. Not my way. Okay. Okay. So now what you're going to have to do, you're going to have to start it. Start it. So all the way over? All the way over till it starts.
little bit thick, pretty good. who's just learning, it's better to take your time and uh, just think about every movement you're making and eventually it'll all come to you naturally. When you're spreading that stuff, you don't really want your bucket too high. Every, every time she's getting better at it. good you know you could really see it that uh, even though you only took two or three uh, uh, dips but every dip look you can tell by the pile look yeah you were getting better each time yeah cool yeah so it's not that intimidating no I mean, you, you got five minutes on it yeah and look what you did yeah that's right right yeah, cool well you did good proud of you thank you I, I was talking to catch as well Tell her something. What? I said, take your earplugs out. <laughs> you forgot about the earplugs. So I got I got used to them, I guess. <laughs>
I get a lot of people asking me about grading with these things. People have trouble grading with small tractors. Oh, yeah. And the reason why you have trouble grading with a small tractor like this is because you got to think about it. They're short. They're really short. So any interruption in the terrain, you hardly got time to compensate for the bucket. Oh. That's why when you look at road graders. Oh, they're pretty long. They're long. And that's the reason why they're long is because you have a lot more time to correct hmm. for inconsistencies in the road. So these things are all over the place. When I was at heavy equipment, we used to use like 966 cat loaders. And even them, you had to be really, really experienced to do grading. And of course, that's what I always did back then. That's right. A lot of my work, uh, you know, we did regular loader work, but when it came time to laying down surveyors, pegs and stuff and putting grades down, I would always be the one that did the grading. And I got really used to, to that machine and, and I needed that particular machine, which was 966 number 13, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember the, yeah, yeah remember. I mean, if 13 was there, it was, uh, it was good for me, right? Mm -hmm. And if anybody had to work overtime and they have to put in their grade, their grading pegs and stuff and had to grade, they'd always ask for me to grade, so, because they'd get home earlier. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, so, it, it, it's, it's possible to do it, but, like, don't get discouraged trying to grade with these things. But again, it's practice and feel, isn't it? It's, it's, yeah, yeah. you really got to know it, and even, like, like, I got a cutting edge put on this, right? Mm -hmm. And even with a cutting edge, they're brutal because they got a tendency to want to dig down, right? Right. So, you know, there's nothing wrong with back dragging. You know, the only thing is with back dragging, you, you should have your bucket in a level position mm -hmm. uh, because uh, it's a little bit harder on the, on the bucket if you just take it to cutting edge. And the other thing is, too, you get choppiness when the bucket is tilted down. Oh. Uh, you know, you, you, you'll, have, you'll have a bit more wear in your bucket, but that's, the bucket is there to wear. So just wanted to, to let you know about that. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll just call this a video. Yes. So we don't want it to get it dragged out too much. No. We've had a bit of fun. We did. And you know what's going on. You did an excellent job, by the way. Oh, thank you. you. Know. So, uh, we'll, we'll, and then we'll come back in the next video and we'll show you the process of what we did with that I-beam. Yes. And uh, show you a bit more of that. That way it's not too much jambled and jumbled. Into one. Into yeah. one, right? Because we're all over the place with videos. Yes. Because that's the way we do stuff. We're all over the place. Yeah. So, and it's a bit of fun. So hope you guys enjoyed what you saw today. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. So you guys take care and uh, God bless.